Okay, let's uh, talk. About, let's wrap up with some stable coins. Um, right. So it's the EU. So the EU um, deployed the framework. Um, MICA, M-I-C-A, I don't know how you call that. It's um, EU markets in crypto assets. And it's a regulation for stable coins. And basically, stable coins have to apply there and they have to make sure that they comply with their dysregulated framework. And so it is. Um, it has just started on July 1st, so last week. And basically, if you are in EU and you hold uh, coins that are not supported, I would assume it's any other than USDC or USDT. Um, I would uh, encourage you to look into it if you have other uh, stable coins. But basically, you're not you're not allowed to hold those uh, stable coin officially now if you are in EU. I serious. Oh, I, I see that's a yeah. news article that I did not read. That's concerning. But when you're talking about stable coin, they're centralized. All right. stable coins are centralized. Yeah. Even even the ones that are programmatic. There is some effect of them that are are centralized. Some all the way, some a little less. That means you have. Well, forget. I was just going to say that it doesn't matter. It means you have censorship probabilities that will always be probable, uh, especially if they're EVM related or any blockchain that has EVM. There is a possibility, which means a probability of censorship. And so, yeah, that really stinks. I think that's a bum deal for people. Of course, it is. I don't know. That's, <laughs> the, the, that's, depre their that's job depressing. Is to empower for me. the government. I mean, that's their job, uh, so that they yeah. can so you implement control in order to help the people. Right? That's that's their thing. Yeah, we were um, talking about that earlier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's it's the entire modus operandi. Um, it's pretty. That's it's nuts and now they're just now they're making coins illegal that's our tokens illegal that's that's what you're telling me that's right that's crazy. so it is um not it's not the first time they make coins you know banned there but it seems that now they want them to follow a specific framework and i yeah. mean let's be clear right eu is um extremely totalitarian in the way it wants to control everything and I think it's just it's just going that direction, right? So of course, political? stable coins We're are trying to stay stay apolitical here. So <laughs> no, wow. I'm just talking factual, no, it's right? A fact. Like it, it, right, effectively, right. it is it is in their kind of um, <laughs> reason of being, right? It it is about making sure that it control all aspects of the Euro European Union. But it just really stinks. Anyway, at the end of the day, it's also that the stable coins are probably the ones you can hit the easiest, right? It's all centralized. Um, you have centralized entity that you exactly. can directly go to and be like, hey, now you follow that framework or you have fines or whatever. So I guess it is, um, it is a path for them to go there. And let's talk about the CBDC, right? Our favorite topic. Um, <laughs> the stable coins are probably the biggest threat to the CBDC, right? That's true. That's true. They are. They would be if if your base is more interested in using some external party as opposed to your official coin, and they never use your official whatever it is, your CBDC, and they're wanting, let's say, something else that affects your economy. Right? They, you're you're looking at one thing, and yet everybody else is doing something else. Yeah. I call that freedom of choice, right? <laughs> but but to a government, yeah. That's, yeah, this is the that's not acceptable. age-old game of their mono of, uh, quest for monopoly powers over certain things, uh, yeah. and this is one of them. Uh, so, right. yeah, it's not not weird. It just sucks. I think it sucks. Exactly. I mean, it means that it means we're stuck. While you know, if this gets broadly used, because the way I'm seeing it is, it's the European exchanges that have to comply with this, and now and they're also in that article you posted. They're also saying, well, don't use non-regulated exchanges i mean that's that's how they're doing this um that's so right. people will use non-regulated exchanges to get the other coins or move the other coins um but that's just the normal way that they do this like you know it's a it, you know you got to use this it's illegal to use anything else and now people are just you know doing illegal things for it without being harmed or harming other people it's not actually saving anyone it's yeah, and EU with its vast oh. blows and like several mm -hmm. regulations that came around crypto has actually proven to be worse than US. So right. it is that's um, true. 
will be interesting to see how it evolves. Yeah.